Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Masatoshi Hamanaka uh, from AIP. Uh, today, I'd like to present a study about music structure analysis based on deep learning. Uh, musical activity reflects many aspects of human intelligence. Uh, these activities encompass not only composition, arrangement, and performance, but also listening and even selecting songs. Our goal is to assist the music activities by using the computers. Uh, today, I will uh, introduce uh, several systems uh, which assist uh, musical activities. Uh, first of all, is uh, about the listening. And this is the sound scores headphones, uh, which enable the user to control an audio mixer through natural movement when listening sound. Uh, at the top of the headphone, there is a digital compass and tilt sensor. And on the outside of the uh, right speaker, uh, there is an infrared distance sensor. So let me show you a video of sound scope headphones. Uh, so the sound scope headphones use the uh, separate audio source uh, before mix down. However, it is difficult to acquire that kind of sound source, so we attempted to uh, separate a solo guitar from CD by using NMF, non-negative matrix factorization. So uh, first I'll play the sound from CD. Yeah, and, and this sound, uh, actually there is a three guitar, uh, one solo guitarist and two uh, backing guitars, so very difficult to separate. So next, uh, I'll play the separated guitar solo sound. Uh, not perfect, but uh, almost all the uh, note was detected. Okay, next one is music scope headphones. Uh, the music scope headphones use the same device as uh, sound scope headphones. Uh, it reduces computer mouse operation while selecting a sound from many unknown ones. Uh, there are two mo modes, uh, selecting mode and listening mode. Uh, when a user uh, stops the head in the selecting mode, it moves to listening mode. When a user shaking the head in the listening mode, it moves to selecting mode.
Okay, uh, next one is concert viewing headphones. We create an audio visual interface that enables for a separate of the listening and watching each performance. If a user want to clearly hear and see a particular performer. Uh, this time uh, we mounted the projector at the top of the uh, headphones. And uh, today I skip the details, so please see the video. Okay, next one is selecting song. Yeah, I'll introduce Band Navi. Band Navi enables users to find new bands and music by examining the relations between musicians in bands, uh, which are affected by member member changes and collaborations. And uh, here, a member or collaborators means uh, not only official band members, but also, also guest musicians, guest uh, chorus, session members, etc. Et uh, for example, uh, Hearing Aid has uh, eight lead vocals, uh, nine guitar solists, uh, two backing guitarists, uh, two basses, two drums, and 19 choralists. So, uh, totally 40 members. Uh, actually, uh, not uh, 40, uh, actually 120 members. And uh, you know the uh, we are the world. Uh, it's uh, more than 40 members. And uh, yeah, uh, the genre of the uh, of uh, we are the world is of course uh, pops, and here uh, it is heavy metal. So they are very different. But uh, uh, two two person is connected. Uh, Vince Neil from Motley Crue uh, and uh, David. Pitch from Toto um, because the David Pitch play uh, piano 
uh, and join the Motley Crew as an additional player. So let me show you a video of Band Navi. Uh, this is an overview of the architecture of uh, Bandami, which uses web mining to acquire members' name. Uh, the server application correct web pages about the band by using Google Search API. The server application extract musician's name uh, from the corrected web pages by pattern matching them with the name of musician instrument. Uh, the sub application removes the name of musicians who have not played in the band from musician's name extracted. And next one is uh, composition uh, and arrangement and performance. Uh, this one is called expectation piano. Uh, we define the stability of melody by using music theory. The predicted notes are displayed on the piano read and the brightness of each note is dependent on uh, the level of stability. Uh, so the ex expectation piano can assist the musical novice to play improvisation. Uh, let me see your uh, video. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, uh, this is a score about the Hayden's Andante, and uh, here is a uh, uh, level of stability. And uh, these uh, two notes, uh, the level of stability is b uh, very high. This is because a uh, dominant chord note uh, that won't resolve to a tonic chord note. And these two notes, uh, the level of stability is uh, low. And this is because uh, various progression can follow a root note of the tonic chords. So at this result, uh, yeah, the expectation piano works well from a musical point of view. Okay, uh, here the level of stability is uh, calculated by using the music theory called GTTM. And the GTTM was proposed by Rea and Jack Kendoff in 1983. And these are the structures derived by GTTM. The grouping and metric structure, uh, we use grouping and metric structure to derive a time span tree. And, uh, and this slide shows um, the biggest program, uh, problems uh, on computer implementation of GTTM. And that is, uh, GTTM has a set of rules, however, no strict order of applying rules. Uh, so the conflict between rules often occurs. Uh, 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 he, uh, here, uh, in this score, uh, GPR3A, the rule name, is applied in uh, this position. Um, because GPR3A will apply where the relatively large pitch intervals. And also, uh, GPR2B will apply this position because uh, GPR2B will apply where a relatively large interval between current offset and next on onset. However, uh, the boundary cannot perceive uh, both of th these positions because uh, GPR1 avoid uh, analysis with very small groups. So uh, here, uh, uh, Th these two positions, are, uh, we have uh, the rules of the GPR3A and 2B will uh, conflict. Okay. Uh, recently, uh, we introduced deep running for uh, GTTM analysis. However, direct running from uh, score, score to uh, structure is difficult because there are big gap. And but uh, running from score to rules are easy because the r each rule is very simple. For example, GPR3A will apply these four positions um, because uh, uh, there are big uh, register here. And uh, GPR2B will apply uh, these two positions because uh, there are two rest here. And the running from score with rules to music structure is uh, also easy. Uh, so uh, we acquire the score to musical structure by using uh, these two steps. Uh, here's a network that we call Deep GTTM1. Uh, we use Deep Brief Network, uh, brief network to detect the local grouping boundary. And the input of the network was onset time, offset time, pitch velocity of note sequence from music XML. And the output of network formed multitask running, which had 11 outputs, such as 10 kinds of grouping preference rules and local grouping boundaries. Yeah. And individual outputs had two units, such as uh, rules that were not applicable, and the rules were applicable. Uh, or those with no boundary or uh, and boundaries. Uh, unsupervised pre-training was done by stacking restricted Boltzmann machines from the input to the final hidden layer. Uh, supervised fine-tuning by backpropagation from grouping preference rule uh, to input layers. And finally, supervised fine-tuning with label to data set of, uh, with local grouping boundaries. Uh, now here's the result. We evaluated the performance of Deep GTTM1 by using 100 pieces from the GTTM database, which the remaining 200 pieces were used to train the network. 
Uh, the result indicate deep GTTM of one outperform the previous analyzers in the F measure. Uh, uh, here's the conclusion. Um, before the last two slides, uh, we developed uh, deep GTTM uh, and it outperformed the previous analyzers. And we plan to implement the time span tree analyzer on the basis of deep learning. And we also plan to develop the application uh, which use time span tree uh, such as melody morphing uh, method. Uh, finally, I uh, just introduced the melody morphing method. Yeah, uh, first we input two melodies, A and B. Uh, then we can uh, analyze the time span tree, uh, TA and TB. And then we can acquire the common information uh, of uh, these uh, time span trees by using meet operation, TA meet TB. And then we can acquire uh, TC here as an intermediate of TA and TA meet TB because uh, the information of TA includes uh, this tree. On the same way, we can acquire TD as an intermediate of TB and TA meet TB. And finally, we, we, uh, we can uh, get the uh, uh, morphed memory, uh, TC join TD, as combining the TC and TD. Okay, uh, here's the last uh, slide and the last video. Uh, in the next video, uh, we just input two melodies. Uh, one is original melody, and the other is a guitar throwing. And the uh, intermediate uh, melody is uh, calculated by the, uh, that method. Okay, that's it. that's it. Thank you very much. So, time for questions or comments. So, you can ask a question. So, you showed our uh, deep GTTM, and our, uh, I, maybe I missed something. Wh what is our output of our deep? Deep network, and there. How do you prepare the teaching data? Uh, this is a uh, grouping boundary. Uh, is uh, here? There is a rest. So here is a grouping boundary. Okay, so the grouping boundary is the yeah. output of the net. Yes. Okay, then there. Okay. So the teaching uh, data is yeah, musicologists okay. make the structure uh, analyze. Only the musicologists uh, can analyze. Uh, so we we try to auto. Uh, auto uh, automatic uh, generate the structure okay. by using and deep learning. Uh, but uh, perhaps, uh, uh, so you, uh, as a teaching data, you just... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yes, w uh, boundary with, boundary with is rules. Okay. Uh, rules so are also important. Uh, rule, uh, so, so you, uh, um, so, so the some pro professional person um, Gave their teaching data. Yeah, uh, rule is, is from the theory. Uh, in the theory, there is many rules. Uh, uh, here is a yeah, there is a arrest. So uh, DPL two A will apply here. But it's not automatically. Well yeah, uh, this one is uh, very easy. So uh, it can easy. it can automatically. But uh, nice. uh, DPL six is actually very difficult. Uh, it uh -huh. can select the uh, parallel uh, part. Uh, it is difficult to uh, cut the parallel part. But professional person can do that. Yes. Uh -huh, I see. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? So, uh, what I mean by 
Yeah, 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 thank you very much. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, yeah, uh, the melody, if the input melody is completely different, uh, we cannot acquire uh, this tree because it will be empty. So the, uh, almost the, uh, uh, these two melodies, uh, we need a similar melodies. And uh, uh, yeah, this th uh, usually uh, the code pro progression is the same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any others? Okay. Then let's thank speaker again. Thank you very much.